is an important topic, especially in terms of uh, today's the word of uh, sustainability. When we are talking about two R E, recycling, rethinking, and reuse, and above all three E, that is energy, environment, and economics, and optimization of this. So let me invite first Mr. Marcus the Bruckner to share your views about this. This thing and the title, I guess. <laughs> Today, we would like to share two things, two innovations, which we in Bruckner push forward with the entire value chain. We're extremely proud that with the help and with the collaboration along the value chain at our unique technology center in Germany, we were able to make kind of this happen. Somebody said before, multi-layer is an evil. Indeed, for recycling, except you are with Uflex, um, multi-layer firms, MLFs, are evils. Therefore, the push to enable circularity is going via mono-material structures. Nothing new for many of you, but here comes the challenge, how to achieve a printable base layer how to get a barrier, how to make it possible to have a barrier, and how to achieve a ceiling layer, all with the same material. And we happily announce, and needy to your question, on what will happen to decay. This is one of it. We will show, together with our brand owner collaboration partners, new film types we developed at our pilot lines to have an opportunity to release multi-layer films in many of applications. But is everything solved then? No, because even we have multi-layer packaging all the way from the brand owners put into the shelves, and later we buy it as a consumer. The collection, the sorting is still the issue, because if it doesn't come to the closed loop as what we've heard earlier, Everything is in vain. So we are part of the problem, but we are also part of the solution. Let's take a look at the regulatory landscape shaping the future of plastic packaging around the world. We see from USA to Europe, from China to Southeast Asia, different frameworks from governments introduced how to reduce plastic waste and promote sustainability. And when we dive in deeper, we see with this slide a comparative snapshot of how different regions are regulating plastic packaging and what that means for the industry. We see a wide range of approaches from focusing on banning specific single-use plastics to recyclability targets, recycled content, or extended... Especially when it comes to recycling and utilizing waste and creating something useful out of it. Sorry, what's the part? Most of, our, most of you in our industry know Reifenhäuser we are a family business and we're very proud of our family heritage. We are leading manufacturer of extrusion technology and components for extrusion machinery, such as laundry machines, cast sheet and coating lines, non-woven and spun bond machines, and we're supplying components to the industry like airings, calibration baskets, extruders, screws and barrels. Boost your performance is the main theme for our show booth this year in October. Boosting performance comes in different aspects. We're talking about automation, what we heard before, data that is used coming out of the machine to improve performance, and also training, training systems that help operators to get easier along with the machine. MDO is also an important aspect where profitability and performance matters. It has come to our industry and a lot of people have used it 
But at the end of the day, we see that profitability has not been really there in this, in this market so far. Process stability is a big challenge that most film producers are dealing with, and it also comes on top with higher cost in terms of raw materials. And lately, the prices for alternative materials have come dramatically down, giving additional competition to MDO. So our approach here is to provide a tool that gives film producers the possibility to really be competitive and we're very proud to say... Hello everybody. Thank you, Nidhi, for the nice invitation. And thank you all for listening to us. My name is Pietro. I'm following the Indian market and Southeast Asia region for the technologies in Bandera, which are basically three main pillars. Uh, the blown film, the flat dye, and the special extrusion, which is namely recycling colored. We don't have so much time to go deeper into 80 years old, pretty much of, uh, of history, but that's the reason why I'd like to quickly uh, enter into what we, from where we start, where we are. We started our production in 1947, and uh, um, let's say decades by decades, uh, we uh, adapt ourselves uh, into the market demands. And that's where the point where I would like to start with. Uh, uh, simply because the market demands uh, is today the, the daily challenge that uh, we as uh, the other gentlemen here on the stage are facing. Because the market demands uh, can be generated by uh, various actors. There are brand owners, there are laws, there are international regulation. And the reason of this short video is simply to anticipate what we are. We are basically an uh, R&D center. Okay? We like to test we like to uh, meet our customer, discussing a uh, uh, specific project, uh, but most important is uh, trials and error approach. This will lead us uh, to uh, various uh, achievements, both in blown, both in flat dye, both in uh, extrusion coating, both in recycling. And that's the reason why I'd like to take a, a note on where we are, the machine manufacturer point of view. We daily face a changing world, luckily, toward a better future. Good evening, everyone. Thank you to the organizers of Edit Plus for inviting us and also for another successful show. Uh, it's been very encouraging since morning uh, to hear most of the, the participants talking and also working relentlessly towards finding a, a solution for developing flexible packaging which is sustainable and also recyclable. I would like to take cues from some of the speakers uh, since morning who have spoken about their needs or the industry demands. For example, Krishna Kumar from Reliance in the morning spoke about availability of flexible, sustainable film at affordable cost. Robert from PepsiCo spoke about the barrier properties. He also spoke about machinability of such a film if it is available because he, he mentioned uh, sealing issues, uh, cracking issues, uh, and thereafter, McKinsey spoke about 85% of Indian consumers ready to pay little more than the normal price if, if there is a sustainable, flexible packaging film available. Then Sachin Gangwal of Sora Polymers, he mentioned about EBOH as a barrier uh, to, to sustainable film. And thereafter, in the last session, uh, Swarna Singh from Kellogg's spoke about FFS machines and also recommended to the machinery manufacturers if the shelf life of the product can be increased from six months to nine months or nine months to 12 months and so on and so forth. So all of these in some form or the other are taught. So also a warm welcome for this. Okay. A warm welcome for this uh, last uh, business session for today. So it's already late, but hopefully with the insights we have already heard from Bruckner. Yeah. 
myself yeah. and the other partners we have here on stage, uh, we can still uh, enlighten you with some good presentations. So, my uh, speech is on efficiency, so we have heard and over the whole day and supposed to be also tomorrow about sustainability and sustainability, one of points sustainability is also efficiency in production. It does not start only by making products which are sustainable but also reducing scrap rates then. So this will be the focus on my presentation. But first of all, before starting this, I have to thank very much Nidhi for this invitation and I'm delighted to present here in the name of Winmerland Hölscher and uh, therefore I'm happy to be here with you. So if we look at customers' expectations of today's, um, I highlighted some of the points. So the bluish ones are more the ones I will concentrate for today. Um, this is that our customers say, I would like to have for sure highest output possible with highest productivity, reduction of waste. And this, the next point comes, becomes more and more important, less dependency on operator skills and for sure quick changeovers and when the changeovers are done, making the minimum of errors possible. And for sure, due to this, also minimize downtime. So looking at one survey we have done with uh, a lot of best-in-class manufacturers, uh, our customers. Request Mr. Paul Zifra, Executive President for Comexi, to come on the stage with his panel of speakers. Dr. Andrik, Global Business